Hello. So today I want to share with you this process. If you are a handmade creator or you own a local shop, a boutique, and you're not selling online, you're just selling locally, I want to share with you a very effective and simple way to create an online sales ecosystem. That's basically how I like to call it because there are three points that work together so then you can always be growing and making that work for you even when you're sleeping. It's not like passive, but it's definitely something that works way faster and easier than when we're selling in person, okay? So here is what I wanna show you. So basically, when you're not selling online, say you're a selling person, and you know it depends on the time that you have to go and be there and doing pop-ups, or you have a store and you only open certain days and you only serve the local people, right? But you wanna expand and go and reach the world. So your goal would be to say, let's call it the sales ecosystem, right? For you to reach that and have that thing working for you as a little engine that will work for you all the time, you would need three parts. Each, each part has its own mechanism, but basically what you're lacking right now is the space, right? When we think, oh, we need a space in the world, everybody has to have a house. Think of the web as the planet as well, and you have to have your own house there, right? And what would that be? That would be your website, right? So if you don't have a website yet, or if you're not selling from your website, you definitely need a website, which is your little house, right? So, and that will house your information, you know, your story and also your products, right? Then if you have a website, the next thing you need is to show that to people. So then you'll be like, well, but I don't have a following. So that's the other size that you don't have yet, or maybe you have, but you're not using it. Usually what I hear from creators or, and artists is that they don't have this following, so they don't have the eyeballs, right? Because nothing happens if you have your house, but no one visits, no one even sees it, right? So you need to have this following. And then, look, when you have a following, you know that everybody who, like uh, me, I have over 10,000 followers on Instagram, but that doesn't mean that all those people are really the ideal people people for me, right? Some of them are, some of them are not. Some of them are just curious or some of them just followed me once at years ago and they keep following me, but doesn't mean much. So we have to have this third thing here, which is the buyers, right? And the buyers come from, so what I'm saying is part of this group here will be your buyer. So we call them buyers, online buyers, right? Because if you sell in person, you already have buyers. So this is the trifecta that you have to master and make them work together so then you can have this machine working, right? And how do you do this? So basically the website, you need a simple website, which you know what it is, is like a Wix or a Shopify. I like Shopify because it integrates with everything and it's simple. But you know, there's Squarespace. I'm not talking about marketplace like Etsy and Gpop and things like that. I'm talking about your own website, which is something that you control and you do whatever you want there, okay? So this is one thing you have to have that's kind of obvious. But then how do you have people shopping from your website? Well, it starts from your following, right? And from your following, you need to know, just like I just said, not everybody will buy from you. And of course, you're not gonna close your Instagram and be like, I only <laughs> share my posts with people who buys. No, but you can definitely find who is your perfect uh, follower, right? That person that eventually will shop from you. So there are techniques we do to find, which they call the avatar. The marketers like to call an avatar, right? But it's pretty much somebody that falls in love with your stuff, falls in love with your personality and will support you. And we have to attract that kind of people to your Instagram or Facebook or whatever social media you choose for yourself. I like Instagram, but also I know TikTok is good. Even Pinterest is a good way to attract this following, right? And then you have to grow this following. So not only you have to find out who is the right group, but also you have to grow, right? Every day it should be growing. And then there are two ways to grow. One is the organic way, 
which is the way we mostly, most of us do. And then there is the paid way, right? Organic, what can you do? You can do hashtags, you can share your posts, uh, your friends can share, you can ask your followers to share, you can do reels. The thing about reels is that the algorithm shows the reels to people who don't follow you. And so that creates awareness to other people, to strangers. And then when they see that, they go and follow you, right? And so there's specific things that you can post organically to attract the correct, the right person for you. And then the one that I like a lot is the paid way to attract followers because it's easy. So I don't have to be killing myself posting every day. And I like to you know, spend five to $10 a day uh, and give to the, to, the, to the gods of social media. So then they show my posts to other people and then those people follow me and eventually go to my website, right? And this is something I can help you with, but even boosting posts, you just have to find the right posts, but even boosting, there are two ways to do ads, by the way. You can do the complicated way, if you know, which is going in the ads manager, which is on Facebook, from the meta ads, right? and you do the whole process there, or there's the very easy way that nowadays is working very well, that's boosting a post. You just find the right post and boost for five, $10 a day, and that will help you grow your audience and do something else that I'm gonna tell you, which is related to the buyers, right? Because remember, we have here a lot of people that they'll follow you, the people, <laughs> right? I like that. Like when I post embroidery videos or something, there's so many people that love the process of watching me embroidering. But who or if those people are going to become my buyers, right? And how do we do this? So the way I like to do that is by creating an email list. And why is an email list so important? It's important because you own the email list. It's your list. The people, this wonderful people here, who gave you their email, they want to hear from you. They are interested. They saw your post and then they gave you the email for something in exchange. So eventually they can buy from you or they get a discount. So they eventually they can buy from you. So it's very important that you grow this list of as many people as possible. So that way you can send your new collections, your new arrivals, drops, to this list and then they buy, okay? So basically it's like a, it's a curation, you're curating people. You curate those ones, transform them in buyers or prospects, and then they go to your website whenever you wanna tell them and then they'll shop. And the way you do that is, again, using the social media. So you need a page where you're gonna attract your people here you, say, you show this page to these people, to your followers. On this page, you're gonna be offering something. It could be a discount, right? I try to not work with discount much because my, my stuff is not cheap and I don't wanna make it cheap. But basically you offer something interesting, which think about if you know the perfect follower and you know the avatar, you know what they like, you know what to offer them here, that will convince them to give you their name, their full name and their email, right? And then you have the collection here, the list. And for that, use something called email service provider. This kind of software, some of them are, you can start for free, some of them you pay, uh, but usually they work the same way. When say I arrive on this page that you created, I give you my email and my name and I, will, I go to your list. So this service, they'll collect my information and right away they're gonna send me automatically an email a response, we call auto response, with whatever you promise. So say you, prom you promise the coupon code, and then I enter my email, then when they collect my email here, automatically they'll send me the coupon code, and then I can go to, to your website and shop, and fine, even if, I'm, if you're giving me a 20% discount here, and I shop here for the first time, but most importantly, you have my name, right? And then you make this work for you, 24 seven, okay? So basically, it's a machine. You find your perfect follower. Not all of them are gonna turn into your prospects, but some of them are. So you make this list, and then when you have new arrivals, you send to the website, okay? And that's what I like to call the online sales ecosystem, all right? 
Okay, so this might sound complicated, but I promise to you, once you set it up, it will work like a charm for you 24 seven to attract the right people, to turn them into prospects, and then eventually they will be your clients, right? And if you find that too hard and you need help, please just leave a comment here, say help, or send me a DM and uh, say, just say the word help, and then I'll talk to you and let you know the details on how I can help you out with this process, okay? But it's very effective and I definitely recommend you to do so. Okay, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.